Hi friends. Um, it is Thursday, I don't know what day it is, July um, 30th, I think, and it's 4 p.m. And Thursdays happen to be probably, they usually end up being like my craziest day. Um, and um, this one is also crazy. Uh, I'm just sitting outside of a listing that I have coming on tomorrow. And if you see a car out behind me, um, that is Zoo Hair from Virtual Tidewater. Um, and he was photographing my listing for me um, so we can have photos. Um, and we got a little delayed because of some stuff. Um, and I've been running around since 8.30 this morning. I had a home inspection, um, an appraisal inspection, um, just a bunch of stuff. Um, I have some clients that had a closing today, so a lot of things going on. But anyway, um, it's getting tipsy with Aaron Thursday, 4 p.m. I hope everyone's doing well. My car says it's 99 degrees out right now, so it's super hot. So I hope you're staying cool. Um, I am dying. Today's episode is how to get your house home show ready in 15 minutes. So we put our house on the market pictures show one way we don't live that way right so one thing I always tell my sellers is you live in well two things you live in your house different than the way you sell your home so I have a whole speech about like pre-packing um, and getting your house prepared that way additionally your house needs to look one way for pictures because those are like immortalized um, on the internet forever <laughs> Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be that perfect for showings. However, you still want it to be nice. Um, so be aware of that. So I have some tips to get your house ready. Um, now I will say this, this market right now is a little crazy. So if your house is in good condition and it's priced appropriately, my best suggestion for you would be to put it on the market. Hi Barbie, to put it on the market and then prepare just to like leave your house for two days and let the house just be shown um, and let it go crazy um, and not be coming in and out. Uh, however, if you're in like a regular market where it may be shown a couple times, shown a different couple times, then let's talk about it. So how do you prepare? Uh, I have some suggestions. I have them written down because I don't have my normal setup. Uh, number one, get a last minute basket. Like get a laundry basket from Target, super cheap, have it with you. Um, and when you know that that showing's happening, run around the house, grab like the loose, you know, loose toys, loose, whatever, laundry that's hanging out, the shoes, whatever, just throw it in the basket, throw it in the back of your car, uh, in your trunk, whatever. So it's not just loose odds and ends sitting around the house. So that's one. Two, fluff the couch pillows. Um, Wayne will tell you my biggest pet peeve is when he squashes the couch pillows. No one wants to see squashed couch pillows. If you want to do the uh, chop, I don't remember what show that's from, but they do the little chop. Um, but fluff your couch pillows so it doesn't look like someone's just been laying on the couch all day. Um, and make those look nice. Three, light a candle. Just one. You don't need a candle in every room. You don't need your house to smell all funky. Um, you don't need competing smells. Light one candle just to put a little ambiance of smell in there and make it smell nice. Um, number four, turn on every light. And when I say every light, every light. Um, and open all the blinds. Turn on the light underneath the microwave. Turn on all the lights underneath the cabinets, the closet lights, the bathroom lights, all the lights. Um, the front light, the exterior lights, interior lights, I don't care if it's 10 o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the afternoon, all lights, everything on, all the blinds up, um, curtains open. I had a seller, um, she lived by herself. So to her credit, she did live by herself. She always kept her blinds closed. Um, and she was gone one time for a showing. So I went over there and I turned all the lights on and opened all the blinds. She came home and she said, oh, my house is lit up like a Christmas tree. I said, you're welcome. Um, five, keep a small basket in your kitchen that you can throw like either in the pantry or in a cabinet 
for like the random junk mail, the car keys, whatever is just randomly sitting in your cabinet. So you're not just stuffing it in a drawer because they're going to open your drawers and you don't want the drawer to be stuck. Um, and then they just feel like it looks like you've jammed stuff or your drawers are broken or whatever. So just like a small little basket. Six, um, super sneaky. Get a big decorative basket to put like in the corner of your living room or next to the couch um, with like a blanket uh, or two blankets or something. And hi, Helen. And um, you can throw stuff in there. Um, you know, dog toys, shoes, whatever. And then you can put the blanket on top of it or the two blankets on top of it. And people will think that's supposed to be like that and you're not hiding stuff, but you are. Um, number seven, <sighs> pet peeve. If you remember anything, remember this. Close the toilet seats. Close all the toilet seats. No one wants to see inside your toilets. Close the toilet seats. Actually, Zuhair, the one that I said was right behind me, he, um, last week I had a photo shoot on Thursday and then he went and shot another listing and I actually happened to show that listing on Friday and there was a toilet seat up and I took a photo of it and I was like, mm, nope, close toilet seats. Um, eight, uh, either have Alexa or your television, your smart TV, play some music, just some soft, easy listening in the background. Doesn't have to be super loud. Doesn't have to be super crazy. Just something nice in the background. Hi, Jeff. How are you? Um, nine, hide, <laughs> I, I wrote notes, so this is funny. Hide your pet dishes and your pets. Don't hide your pets. Um, take your pets with you. Hide your pet dishes, um, you know, your, your cat pee mat or your dog pee mat or whatever. Um, hide that stuff. People love animals, but they don't love your animals and they don't want to see your animals. They don't want to know you have animals. Um, I love your animals. You'll, if I come over, I'm going to play with your animals but they don't need to be out. Um, so get rid of that um, and hide it somewhere, take it in your car, um, put it in the garage. Uh, I just, a listing that closed on Monday, they have a English Bulldog. He has a huge crate, um, she, sorry, I said she, I said she, she, she has a huge crate um, in the living room and she sleeps in that, not for any reason, she just likes to sleep in that. No, Helen, you cannot send you can send Tank to our house, but you can't send all three of the dogs um, to our house. We'll only take one of the three dogs. Um, and we won't take Sadie, our god a dog, we'll only take Tank. Um, so hide any remnants of pet. Um, the people that bought this house that we sold, they didn't even know these people had a dog. Um, 10, keep like some cleaning wipes in your bathroom and your bathrooms and your kitchen, just so you can easily like wipe down the surfaces real quick. Just super quick, easy. You can take cleaning wipes, throw them in the trash can, done. Um, and actually, if you're gonna be super awesome, like the sellers that closed on Monday, you're not even gonna throw them in the trash can because you're gonna want your trash cans empty um, for the showing, so you're gonna take them with you. Um, so you might have like a little trash bag in that last minute basket that we got in number one. And then, Here's my bonus, just because I'm super competitive. My bonus tip, number 11, set a timer for 15 minutes and just get it all done in 15 minutes. Um, so super easy. I know it sounds like a lot because it's 10 items, but if you have it all set up, I mean, one is light a candle. That takes like, what, 15 seconds? Um, you know, some is just having, you know, having a basket here, having a basket there so you can, done. So um, I have a list of this stuff. Um, I have some steps, some, um, different things you can do to get your house prepared to sell. So if you have questions, let me know, and I'm happy to send it to you. And, um, again, I d don't take me wrong. I love your animals. I'm not saying hide your pets in your house, take them with you. Um, but if you're trying to show your house, no one wants to smell your animals, see your animals. They want to see their own animals. So. Um, thanks for joining me for this week's episode. Sorry, it has to be in my car. Sorry, my, I know the lighting's off and I look like mess and, but, um, I do have a new listing hitting the market tomorrow. So pay attention to that and, um, we will see you next week. Have a great weekend guys. Stay cool. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.